Yoko's joining us today. She's on my filming couch. Oh, and she knocked down my blue screen. So she's just gonna chill on the good old filming couch while we make this haul, right, Molly? I want to be in your haul, right? She misses me. She hasn't seen me all weekend. Hey guys, so it is a dark and stormy day. Perfect for a haul, but not so perfect for lighting. So, yeah, I look kind of yucky anyways, because, like, my hair decided to fall out of this cool little... You see this cool French braid I did? I thought it was so cool, and then my hair was like, no, I'm not staying in a top knot today. But anyways, I have a really random haul for you guys from all sorts of places. I was supposed to just be going to places to return things that didn't work out, and I ended up with enough stuff to make a haul, so... Let's start with Walmart. So today was the second time in a week that I was walking to my car thinking to myself, wow, I just spent way too much money at Walmart. I went the other day with my friends and I got some birthday cake Oreos. Oh, they smell so good. Oh, actually my friend Deanna bought them for me. But we all went to Walmart together and that's like the only place you can find those. And then in case you guys don't know, Walmart has the best bathing suits ever. I have an OP one from last year that I love, and I recently got a like zebra bathing suit top from there, and it's amazing, amazing, amazing. And um, I got a neon pink one from Target earlier in the year, in the season. So I wanted like a new pair of bottoms to go with them. So obviously those won't go with the zebra, but I picked up these really cute um, bikini bottoms, leopard, cheetah, whatever you want to call it. And it's from the Smart and Sexy Swim collection. I actually, I love this collection. I love like all the stuff in it. And then on the back, I call it scrunchy butt. I don't know what this is actually called. It's like at Victoria's Secret, they have all that underwear like that. So this looks really, really cute. I tried it on today and I love it. And this was kind of expensive for Walmart. It was $16. And then I went back today and they were all like $13. So I was like, oh, damn it. But this is really cute. So first thing I got. Sorry, I couldn't take the bun. We'll have to go with Lion Mane for now. So, today at Walmart, I actually went to go to the bank, and then, of course, my mom was like, Oh, you're going to Walmart? Let me give you a whole list of groceries. So, I went to Wally 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 World again. Ooh, I forgot I bought this. I bought Mio in Mango Peach. They're on sale for $3.50. Holla! And then I got um, these Equate Beauty Original Clean Wet Cleansing Towelettes. It, they're, it's like, they call it the travel pack, but it's like 15 and this was $2, and it's like the Walmart brand for the Pond's makeup removing things. And I figured since they're cheapest there, I might as well pick some up while I'm there. I'm running a little bit low. And then I was at my friend's house this morning taking a shower, and I used a similar version of this product at her house, and I love it. It's a Neutrogena acne stress control and this is the power clear scrub I just wanted to get a scrub I was gonna buy the cream version of this which is what I used today and then um, a regular oil free scrub but I was like I don't need both of these even though a lot of the Neutrogena stuff was like three dollars this week or it was all on sale so I got the scrub and it says treats acne even before it merge it emerges and it just felt really really good to wash my face with this this morning it felt like kind of a toner like it was getting all the gross gritty stuff off of my skin so it clears oil instantly fights breakouts blah 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 it says here that that was only $5.97 I thought it was a little bit more but I guess not and the next thing I got is the Neutrogena Body Clear Body Scrub it says treats and helps prevent body breakouts for smooth clear skin and it does have the salicylic acid in it but it's only Oh, it's, this is the 2% one. So this is cute. I got another scrub. You can see like the little granules in it. And it's nice and orange. And it's 8.5 ounces. Pretty big. Um, says, blah, blah, blah. It's the first body scrub to contain a proven acne-fighting ingredient that treats and helps prevent body breakouts. So it goes deep into pores, sweeps away dead skin cells for smooth clear skin and I normally don't have a problem with this but lately I've just been feeling like I need to exfoliate really well like on my shoulders and on my back and I have a strapless prom dress so I want to make sure I'm taking care of my body and I wanted um the scrub because I recently got a self tanner that I've been using and you're supposed to exfoliate beforehand and like I use a loofah and stuff but I just want to make sure I'm actually doing it right it wasn't too bad it was $5.97 which is pretty cool because um you get so much more but it was cheaper than this other one I got. I don't know. But the stress control was worth it because it's like for um, 
acne that's brought on by stress and stuff and the commercial for it was really good I've been wanting to try that stuff and it just felt really good when I used it this morning so the reason I was even in the skin section is because my little holy grail um, Neutrogena acne white pads ran out and they were actually on sale for like three dollars this week but there were none left and they're normally like ten dollars so that was an amazing deal but um, I also buy the Clearasil Ultra Rapid Action Vanishing Treatment Cream and this is a little ounce tube with 10% benzoyl peroxide in it. Looks like this. Um, this was on sale for $7.97 this week. It's usually like $10 or $12 at CVS so that was really really good. I've been out of this stuff for months and months and once again for prom just wanted to make sure. So I've been like breaking out and stuff a lot lately. Um, but that's what it looks like. I love this stuff. I've had it before. It does really work. I'll put it on overnight if I have a pimple or I'm getting a pimple and then it will like be pretty much gone in the morning or just a lot easier to cover up. So this was on sale so I restocked that as well. And then someone left a $1 off any Clearasil Ultra product coupon on the counter. Today was the expiration date and I was like, oh, God bless your soul. So I saved a dollar on that. So that was amazing. So the next place I went was TJ Maxx. And I was returning a shirt there, and I ended up getting another shirt that was the same exact price. It was twelve ninety nine. It's pretty simple, but it's also really cute. It's this nice like sherbetty coral color, and then it has the cute front pocket with the zipper, and the back has this cute crisscross on it. I just thought this was adorable. It's nice and plain and light and summery, and I want to wear this tomorrow with like a nice pair of skinny jeans and then like some tall riding boots, and it'll just be preppy and simple and pretty because I don't have many like simple plain clothes and this will just go with everything and look nice. Then the other thing I got, god I'm running out of everything, um, the conditioner I've been using is like a little sample size one so I've been meaning to buy a conditioner for a long long time so I finally picked one up there. Um, I've had pretty good luck with hair stuff at TJ Maxx so this is actually a T-I-G-I, Tigi, whatever you want to call it. Um, conditioner. It's the Rockaholic Live in the Dream Daily Conditioner and Energy. And it says, um, has green tea, goji berry, godu cola, and multi-minerals. And they're a full throttle fix for lifeless, mistreated hair. And they fuels up your hair, repairs it, and amps it on. So I was like, oh, maybe it's volumizing or something. So this was originally $18.50 and I got it for $4.99. What a steal. And then this is the like eight and a half ounce bottle. So this is really cute. You get a lot in here. And, oh, I didn't smell it. I should probably do that. Oh, it smells really good. It's like coconut and citrusy at the same time and kind of vanilla-y. Oh. And then this was totally an impulse buy. I saw they had um, Too Faced stuff at TJ Maxx and that never happens. I don't, and I don't own anything from... Too Faced, but a lot of people I watch on YouTube like their stuff, so I've always been dying to get something, so I ended up with one of their Lip of the Moment or something, I don't know, but it's like infused with like cashmere or something, it's supposed to like fill in lines in your lips, whatever, I don't care about all that stuff, it said um, like $4.99 compare at $8, and I was like this was definitely not $8 because it's full sized. Um, so I got this really cute tube of Too Faced lipstick and it has the diamond on the front which is so freaking adorable and it's pink and just, oh I love this. And I got it in the color Runway Red just because I've been obsessed with red lipstick lately and I don't really have any like name brand red lipsticks. I just have like drugstore ones so I want like a good quality one. Maybe I'll wear it for prom. I'm going a little prom crazy here. So it's this pretty color. It looks like it might be matte, but I know it's like infused with a whole ton of uh, special sparkly stuff. So who knows? I was kind of hoping it would be like Ruby Woo from MAC where it's like a kind of matte satin red. But either way, it's really pretty. And the last place I went was Kohl's again to return something. And my favorite girl who works at Kohl's, everyone at Kohl's is so friendly. Um, she's a girl that works at the jewelry counter and I was like, hey, it's my friend's birthday. She likes crosses and turquoise. Do you have any bracelets like that? Because I was going to order one from Dern, but um, I don't know. shipping is so expensive I didn't want to do that. So she was like, yeah, we've got that exact thing. So I got her this really, really cute, um, this is exactly what I was looking for. It looks very like Dern and it's um, genuine gemstones in here too. So this was originally $40, but it was on sale, so I did not pay that much. And then there was like an extra 10% off of that. And then um, 
I got myself this really cute ring. It's like me personified in a ring. Like I could not leave the store without it. Look at this, guys. Ah, pink and black zebra. And it's like gaudy and cocktaily. And um, I think this one might have genuine gemstones too. And look, this was originally $80. Oh my god, that pains me. But it was 80% off, so it was only 16 Holla! And then that girl at the jewelry counter, she's always so nice to me. She was like, I've rang you out before, right? I tried to ask you if you wanted a Kohl's charge, but you're not 18 yet. And I'm like, yep, that's me, because everyone always asks me to buy credit cards. And I'm like, that's not legal, sorry. So last time I went there, she gave me like an extra 30% off coupon or something ridiculous. And then I think she did something like that today, because it was so cheap. It was like, I think she kept my receipt. Um... I can't find my receipt, but it was like $32 and I paid for like the, I paid for like $5 of it in quarters and she's like, oh, I don't even care. Like, that's fine. She was just like talking to me about her hair and stuff while I was getting all my change out. She was, le she's legit so nice. So on the little thing where it tells you how much you saved, I saved like $89 on all of this. I got like really good quality, like gemstones and metals and stuff, jewelry wise for really, really inexpensive, so I was really happy about that. So they give you that survey, and I was like, oh, you guys need an incentive. Like, if you go anywhere else, they're like, oh, if you do the survey, we'll enter you for a gift card. She's like, oh, there is one. If you do it right now on your smartphone, I'll give you 15% off your purchase. So I was like, what? No way. So I did that on my phone, and I gave, like, highly satisfied for everything, because this girl is so nice, guys, and she always gives me coupons and all this extra stuff, and, um, then she gave me $5 back for doing that. So that was amazing, and I didn't know you could do that. So yeah, that was really, really fun. So um, since I returned stuff, I barely had to pay anything for all this stuff. I don't buy anything full-priced ever. Um, so thank you guys for watching my haul. Let me know how you liked it or if you've tried any of these things before. And I will see you next time. Bye!